go. Right. Hey guys, this is Miss Hollenbaugh. I'm going to review adding and subtracting fractions for your quiz tomorrow on um, using fraction tiles. Our first problem that we're going to look at is two thirds plus one fourth. Because we're adding, we're going to model the first fraction, two thirds. Because we're adding, we're going to put the one fourth on the same row. Now what I want to do is I want to create another row of tiles all using the same denominator, which means the same number, uh, same color. So I will say, will three go into four evenly? No. Next multiple of four is eight. Does three go into four to eight evenly? Answer that. Also no. Next multiple of four would be 12. Will three go into 12 evenly? Yes. So then what I will do is I will take my twelfths and line them up to make a bar that's going to be the same length. Right here I can see that one third is equal to four twelfths. So I know I need four more right here. So that's eight twelfths. And then my one fourth is going to be three twelfths. So when I add them all together, I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 twelfths. Because the 11 and 12 are right next door to each other on a number line, that means that they are in simplest form. So this would be my final answer. Alright, for the next card, we're going to try 1 fifth plus 3 tenths. So you want to model one-fifth and then three-tenths. Now this time, we add, look at your two denominators. We have fifths and we have tenths. Can five go into ten evenly? In this case, the answer is yes. So I don't need to rename the three-tenths. The three I only need to rename the one-fifth. So what I'll do is I'll replace one-fifth with two-tenths. Now I have one, two, three, four, five-tenths. And then you want, again, you want to see if there's anything that would go evenly into both of these. Quick fix for this one, I know that five is half of ten. So anytime your numerator is half of your denominator, it will always be come down to one-half. All right. I'll give you one more to try. I'll give you a chance to try to model this one on your own. You can pause the video. Try 7 twelfths plus 1 fourth. You want to model. You can pause now and then when you have your answer, turn it back on and then you can see if you got the right, correct answer. Since 4 goes into 12 evenly, I'm only going to replace the 4th, so I'll just see how many 12ths it takes to make 1 4th. It's 3. So I have 7 12ths plus 3 12ths. That's going to give me 10 12ths. So since both of these can be divided by 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 12 divided by 2 is 6. These are next door neighbors on a number line, so 5 6 would be simplest form. Good luck. Um, if you need any extra help, let me know before your quiz and we will review. Have a good evening.